Now, the song that you're probably most well-known for, Poncho and Lefty, uh, you are just uh, outside of Dallas when you wrote that one. Uh-huh. 30 miles north of Denton. <laughs> Tell us the story about that song, how it well, came to that, you. That uh, song, I, because of uh, Billy Graham and the Guru Maharaji playing Dallas the same time I did, uh, there were no hotel rooms anywhere around Dallas. And uh, my friend Daniel and I ended up in this run crummy little rundown place with no Coke machine, no TV, no telephone. And uh, it was about 50 miles out of town was the closest we could get because uh, Billy Graham drew like 500,000 people from all over the world and the Guru drew like 300,000. So every room within 60 miles of Dallas was taken. And I sat there for three days and we would drive, had a three day gig and we'd drive into Dallas and play the gig, drive back to this hotel room. And about the second or third day, I decided what I'm gonna do is sit down in this chair and write a song and I'm not gonna move, which wasn't terribly difficult because there was nowhere to move to, <laughs> you know. I could get out and walk out and take a look at the bullfrog in the broken swimming pool. And uh, I sat there for about three or four hours, and uh, through the window, th that line, first line came. Living on the road, my friend, was going to keep you free and clean. And then something took over. That's another one of the ones I was talking about. The only, the only conscious thought, particular thought I had about that song was, uh, it's not about Pancho Villa. I knew that for a fact. Other than that, it just kind of came. I, I made no major, I made, I added a verse. I added the last verse. I went in the uh, second night and played it at the Rubiot Club. And uh, uh, my friend, late friend B.W. Stevenson was there. And he was a good friend of mine. And he, he sat there and listened to us. I said, hey, B.W., here's a new song. Because he was about the only one in the audience. Everybody else was either Billy Graham or the Guru. And I played it. <clears throat> he said, yeah, man, that's a good song, but uh, I don't think it's finished, okay? So the next day, I wrote the uh, third verse, and it kind of came to also. Had you been carrying the characters Poncho and Lefty around in your head? No, not before that day. I'd never thought of either one.